Hello guys, welcome to Destined to Win Tutorials. Please like, subscribe and share this video. Today we're going to be treating past questions on geometric progression, that is GP. We have a question from YEC 2013 Theory Question 8. I also noticed that uh, GP questions are always in the theory sections of YEC and they often don't come out in YEC. It's, um, you could see a three-year space before you get uh, a question on GP in YEC theory part. Now it says if bracket x minus 3 minus x 6 bracket 7 minus 5x are consecutive term of a geometric progression with constant ratio r less than 0 find the value of find 1 that's the values of x and 2 the constant ratio remembering that the n term in a gp is a r n minus 1 now to get to get uh, the value of x, remembering that our common ratio would it would be here we have t1, that's the first term, second term, and third term. To get your common ratio, it is either 2t, that's the second term divided by the first term, or the third term divided by the second term. So here, we will to get our value of x, we'll just equate this. That is T2 divided by T1 equal to T3 divided by T2. So what do we have here? We have 6 divided by 3 minus X equal to 7 minus 5X divided by 6. So here we cross multiply. Well, we have 6 times 6, which gives us 36 equal to bracket 3 minus. You know this is a theory question, so we would show our working well. So here, opening the brackets, what do we have? 3, that's 21, minus 15x, minus 7x, plus 5x squared. So here, bringing 21 here, we have 36 minus 21, equal to just rearranging this all, uh, these things here, we have what? 5x squared, minus 22x, that's 15x, minus 15x, minus 7x, will give us minus 22 x so what are we left with here this is 15 equal to 5x square minus 22x so here let's uh, bring everything to one side of the equation let's take this here so we have 5x square minus 22x minus 15 so here, to factorize is equal to zero. To factorize this, what, I hope we remember our factorization. So we'll multiply this by this. That's five times 15 will give us what, 75. What uh, multiples of 75, if we add or subtract, will give us minus 22. Um, here, if we divide 75 by three, we'll get 25. So if we say minus, 20, minus 25 plus 3, we are going to get minus 22. So here we have 5x squared minus 25x plus 3x minus 15 equal to 0. Taking like terms, we have 5x bracket what? x minus 5 plus bringing out 3, 3 bracket x minus 5 equal to 0. So here we have 5x plus 3 equal to 0 and 5 minus x minus 5 equal to 0. So here x will give us 5x equal to minus 3 divided by 5. We have x giving us minus 3 over 5. And here we just have x to give us what 5. So the values of x from our question is what where x is equal to minus uh, 5 or and minus 3 over 5. So this is the answer for your first uh, question. And the second question says find the constant ratio. So we'll find the constant ratio when x is 5 and when x is minus 
3 over 5. So constant ratio, all we need to do is just put it into this or this. But this is more simpler. So our constant ratio R is what? 6 over 3 minus X. So when X is 5, what is, our, what is our constant ratio? That's 6 over 3 minus 5. That is 6 over minus 2. And here we have minus 3. And when x is minus 3 over 5, what do we have? R is equal to 6 over 3 minus minus. You know, minus minus 3. Let me just write this down so we don't get confused. We have 6 over 3 plus 3 over 5. We can quickly add this here over 1. That's 5. So we have what? Uh, this will give us 15 plus 3. So this is 18 over 5. So bringing 5 upward, we have 6 times 5 over 18. Here 1, here 3. And we have what? 5 over 3. And this is our answer. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you.